This is the number one mistake that my busy, high-performing executive clients were making on their own when trying to lose weight. So now tell me, does this sound familiar? You used to keep yourself in pretty darn good shape and you felt confident about the way that you looked. As your career started to take off and your family continued to grow, those years and that time, well, it just started to get away from you. The healthy eating habits that you once had were replaced by skipping many meals and then ordering out for the rest. Your 60 minute gym routine was stripped from you and then you were left to try to figure out what to do on your own for a fitness routine. The little time that you used to take to actually rest your body, recover and sleep was replaced with sleepless nights, stress filled nights and needless to say, this combo was not good for your body. So now, pants are fitting tighter and your energy level is nowhere to be found. Most busy professionals now end up trying to overcompensate by working out harder and dieting harder in order to feel like they're making up for the lost time and for the time that they put their health on hold. But here's the reality. That's the number one reason why most busy executives end up more stressed out and never see any progress in losing weight. So now it's starting to feel like you're at a point that you need to prioritize your health, not only for yourself, but also for your family. And here's where the reality sets in because it becomes daunting as it feels like you're so far from where you once were that you don't even know where to start. This is when I often get asked what type of workouts are best for weight loss or people will ask what should I be eating to start seeing the results that I want. The easy answer but it's the honest answer is it depends. But here is what I can tell you based on many conversations I've had with stressed out yet extremely driven high level executives that want to lose weight and feel great. When it comes to weight loss, the method that most people resort to is this. You eat less food and you work out harder. Especially this is the method that busy people go for. While I don't agree with this method as all as a blanket statement, it does work for some people in the short term. Not sustainable mindset for the long term, but I do know that over the years, it's definitely a mentality that is appealing for many people. And I'm sorry to say that even this quick fix type of thought process rarely is going to work for those high performing executive clients. Here's why. If you're cutting calories out and trying to destroy yourself on these brutal Peloton rides or insane workout videos, and if you're still not losing weight, I'm going to let you in on the secret because the number one mistake for my high performing executive clients, the things that they're doing when trying to lose weight on their own is because they're over stressing their bodies. Think about it like this. You're stressed out at work. You're burning the wick at both ends at home life and work life. You're sleeping less and less, and then you're internalizing a lot of these struggles. So now on top of that, you start to deprive yourself from the calories your body needs in order to function. And you're trying to do these overly intense workouts because you think the only way you're going to get into shape and lose weight is if you feel destroyed. This is only adding stress on top of your already stressed out body, which is not a good thing. That's why I see so many people that work out and eat relatively healthy, but they can't seem to lose any weight. And that's regardless of if it's 20 plus pounds or they're just trying to lose that last five to seven pounds. No matter how hard they try, it's just not happening. They're essentially working against themselves. So that's why I implemented these two things for each of my busy, stressed executive clients. Number one, I implemented the LIDF movement protocol, which is the low impact and data focused fitness routine that I use with my clients. We prioritize and schedule the most effective, not necessarily the most grueling, fitness routine for your exact goals while developing a nutrition plan that keeps you feeling full while losing weight. If these two pieces are not appropriately structured, this whole thing is likely to just get poked back on the back burner again. So the combination of these two things is generally only taking my clients about three hours per week to implement. Second thing we do, we monitor recovery in order to develop the habits that will lead to an actual strategy to optimize your sleep. So it's not necessarily just sleeping more. And we also monitor the strain your body is accumulating during your everyday activities and in your workouts. Because more is not always better. And in most cases, if you're working out too intensely, they're not gonna be giving you the results that you would expect. So whether you're unable to see progress losing 20 plus pounds, or if you're sick of just spinning your wheels trying to ditch the last five pounds, chances are your routine 
might not be actually one that is fit for your specific and busy lifestyle. If you'd like to bounce your routine off of a fitness and nutrition professional, schedule up a call and we can definitely connect on that.